Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to Windsor Brokers Live Daily Market Outlook for Monday, 17th of uh, September 2012. We are at the beginning of uh, new week. Uh, nice day here in Cyprus. Uh, whoever is coming from Cyprus is aware of this. Uh, although smell of autumn and uh, a bit lower temperatures are already seen, we are looking for a some relax after very hot uh, summer, though the situation in the markets uh, remains uh, hot as uh, uh, most of the uh, majors, uh, especially Euro and Sterling, are in their tops uh, uh, posted uh, last Friday's extension of the larger uptrends. That was, of course, boosted by uh, crucial data released from uh, Eurozone and the Fed that uh, launched this long-awaited uh, Q3 uh, quantitative easing number three, so the fresh boost was uh, given to the single currency standing as uh, euro hit its uh, fresh high last Friday at uh, 132.67 uh, uh, with the brief consolidative uh, corrective action seen underway during the overnight session, uh, still in the quite uh, narrow range, but uh, technicals are uh, favoring at this point uh, some uh, stronger action that cannot be ruled out, but uh, uh, following the previous uh, movements of, uh, let's talk about uh, Euro now, uh, all the corrective actions were uh, seen as uh, quite brief and uh, rather consolidations than uh, any serious corrective action, especially the latest acceleration on uh, the release of uh, US and the uh, Eurozone data and the break above the trend line uh, resistance where the pair uh, started uh, to skyrocket uh, higher and the uh, 132 and the uh, 132.82 I think are uh, uh, quite realistic uh, targets on the upside. Of course, we're going to uh, see more of this on our technical uh, report uh, uh, with the sterling uh, hot trading uh, overnight uh, holding above 162 and off its uh, uh, last uh, Friday's uh, fresh high at 162.55, also approaching an uh, important uh, swing high of April at uh, 163.00 that uh, is now seen as our uh, next uh, short-term uh, target. Uh, dollar, uh, despite uh, being uh, in the at the back foot and the stronger uh, defense against most of the majors have gained some ground against uh, Japanese yen as uh, uh, we can see the <clears throat> the greenback uh, regained 78 and 78.30 our uh, initial uh, barrier selling so far is holding uh, uh, some positive tone of course as uh, a larger picture shows this is uh, just a minor uh, correction of the uh, fresh uh, fall lower that uh, was uh, triggered on the loss of uh, 78 uh, 00 back above uh, 78 keeps uh, hopes for a uh, uh, possible avert, possibly averting the scenario of uh, uh, dipping uh, further down to, towards 76 and 75.56 our uh, uh, lows of this year and the record lows of uh, dollar yen uh, with the regain of some important upside the barrier 78.80 and 79.00 seen uh, required in order to uh, prevent uh, further weakness uh, while dollar Swiss remains in the uh, I would say strong uh, fall, 92.37 was the low of uh, last Friday with the brief consolidation as expected, uh, as seen overnight uh, uh, just uh, above uh, 90, around the 92.78 was the high uh, seen, so we're talking about uh, 40, 50 pips uh, uh, distance uh, from the latest the low with still negative uh, tone uh, seen uh, favoring uh, bears at this point and the 92.00, 91.80 I think uh, uh, should be quite uh, realistic targets in the near term. Of course, uh, corrective action that is signaled now on the uh, oversold uh, hourly studies uh, sees potential of some uh, correction. Again, more of this uh, will be seen in our technical part. Uh, important, uh, actually, the the one of the most significant uh, uh, points was uh, last uh, Friday's rally of uh, crude oil that uh, breached our uh, initial target at, of uh, $100 uh, dollars, uh, per barrel. This uh, we were mentioning in our previous sessions uh, as the main uh, target and it happened on Friday. Uh, 100.40 was uh, the high reached on October uh, contract uh, last uh, Friday with the uh, immediate easing uh, dipping uh, so far as low as uh, 98.50 with the further easing not ruled out at this point uh, due to the uh, weakening technicals in the near term. The yellow metal holds around uh, 1770 after hitting high at 1777 moving uh, in the sideways and the a narrow range so far we're talking about uh, uh, 10 12 pips uh, range uh, for now again uh, sort of uh, weakening uh, uh, and oversold uh, oh, pardon overbought uh, short term studies uh, do not rule out some uh, corrective action of course more of this again will come on uh, our technical uh, part uh, from today's uh, 
<clears throat> events. Uh, I don't think we have much as it's uh, Monday, the key one is the Eurozone, uh, basically Eurozone data, the current account for July due at uh, 8 o'clock uh, GMT uh, showing 10.9. Ten point nine uh, billion uh, euros surplus, uh, lower than uh, twelve point seven in uh, June. While the uh, uh, eurozone uh, trade balance for July is expected uh, to the surplus is expected uh, to widen to twelve point three billion uh, euros compared to ten and a half billion uh, release of uh, month of uh, June. And uh, that was uh, basically all. That is all for today from the eurozone. Uh, from across the ocean, Canadian foreign securities purchases for July are uh, according to the forecast uh, has seen a, a significant improvement to 1.3 uh, pardon 11.3 billion Canadian dollars compared to the negative one of uh, minus 7.88 uh, 89 pardon uh, billion uh, Canadian dollars and uh, finally uh, this is at 12:30 at the same time is the US Empire State uh, Manufacturing Index uh, for uh, September still in the negative uh, territory but uh, minus 1.8 forecast is uh, much more optimistic uh, from uh, uh, August uh, 5, minus 5.9. And uh, that's all. As uh, said, Monday is always uh, having a, a quite a thin calendar and uh, not uh, much events uh, to be seen on Monday. Of course, the number of uh, uh, releases of economic indicators uh, increases as the week uh, progresses and, of course, peaks on Thursdays and sometimes on Fridays where we have the uh, busiest days according to the release of uh, technical uh, economic indicators. And now we're going to take a look at uh, our charts and see what are the, what is the situation currently in the major currencies and commodities and uh, what we can see and expect uh, in the, uh, during uh, today until uh, next morning when we will review again our uh, activities. As I said, Euro remains in the strong uh, uptrend. This is uh, well uh, shown on the daily chart accelerating, basically uh, gains after uh, breaking about 200 days moving average and the uh, uh, main bear trend line uh, with, of course, uh, boost, additional boost given on the fundamentals from Eurozone and the Fed. And basically, the, this is the highest uh, <clears throat> weekly gain since uh, October 2011 as the, <clears throat> I do apologize, the pair progressed uh, from the levels around uh, 128, hitting levels at uh, 131.67 so far. Uh, positive tone and bulls remain in, uh, fully in play and focus uh, fully at the upside uh, despite uh, some uh, overbought conditions now approaching actually entering the overbought territory on the daily chart. The uh, hourly chart shows the uh, recent uh, peak where uh, uh, pair hit uh, 131.67 briefly broke above linear uh, regression channel. That was of course signal for uh, some reversal. So far the reversal held above uh, around uh, 131.00, basically the overnight action was uh, just uh, around there, contained by uh, 20 days exponential uh, moving average, but uh, as hourly studies are uh, emerging out of the over so overbought territory and the others are all pointing uh, lower, we might see some uh, further corrective action uh, at this point uh, with the 130.50 seen as the next. The first one is exactly 23.6% uh, retracement of the up move from Applied from 128.54 to uh, 131.67 with 38.2 percent at 130.47. This is also reinforced by uh, ascending a 55 days uh, exponential uh, moving average uh, with the dips uh, down to 130 uh, seen as ideal reversal in case of any further uh, easing. 130.10, uh, 130.00 130, where uh, 50 percent uh, retracement and the channel. Uh, uh, ch channels a lower boundary and ideally any stronger dips should be contained and reversed uh, at or around this area in order to keep the short-term bulls uh, uh, fully in play. As uh, mentioned uh, so far there was no any serious corrective action, just uh, brief uh, consolidations uh, and uh, fresh resumption higher. Uh, we believe that uh, such a scenario should uh, uh, apply even in this uh, case. Uh, if we lose uh, 130.00 then we'll be talking about uh, some uh, a stronger corrective action and uh, most probably to look for uh, levels uh, above below 130.00. One, uh, we have Fibonacci levels at uh, uh, 129.12. Uh, First we have the static resistance at uh, 129.35 previous high 129.12 uh, 
38.2% uh, resistance uh, uh, retracement pardon and then the low of uh, spike low of uh, last Thursday at 128.54 uh, close to 50% retracement of the broader up leg from uh, 125.00 to 131.67 where is also the for our chart uh, 55 days exponential moving average and uh, basically loss of uh, uh, these levels uh, pardon uh, loss of uh, 2834 uh, uh, loss of these levels uh, could be quite risky uh, this uh, would be signal of further weakening and uh, will put the bulls on hold otherwise uh, uh, focus still remains at the upside uh, 13200 and the uh, peaks of uh, uh, 13211 uh, for uh, 12th of April 2012 and the more significant uh, top of 1st of May at 132.82 uh, would be our uh, likely scenario for uh, our uh, short term uh, targets for the euro dollar. Uh, regarding uh, sterling again uh, quite a similar situation as the pair continues to progress higher as a part of the uh, larger uptrend uh, that accelerated on the break of uh, uh, three months consolidation uh, uh, range and the congestion uh, top at uh, 157.70 uh, with the fresh extension higher uh, so far hitting uh, 162.55 just ahead of very significant and key short term barrier at uh, 163.0038 of April uh, uh, peak. Uh, positive tone despite uh, overbought uh, conditions on the daily chart still sees the upside uh, favored at uh, this point uh, but uh, from the hourly uh, side uh, quite extended the conditions and the uh, indicators already pointing lower emerging out of the overbought uh, territory and the uh, four hour ones uh, stochastic is already pointing lower it doesn't rule out some uh, corrective action uh, levels set to watch at this point is initial support is the overnight uh, uh, range floor at uh, 162.12 as the gains still hold uh, below uh, psychological uh, 162 level uh, so far uh, being underpinned by uh, 20 days exponential uh, moving average on the hour char hourly chart with the uh, low of uh, last uh, intraday low of last Friday at 161.95 uh, seen also as a part of this uh, 162.00 zone support uh, while 38.2% uh, retracement is at 161.86 along with the 161.80 55 days exponential moving average at this point uh, a loss of uh, previous uh, high at uh, 161 30 and the 161.43, 61.8% uh, might be signal of uh, some uh, stronger corrective action uh, while only break below 161 and the loss of higher low at 161.60.74 uh, might be a trigger for a stronger uh, uh, corrective action, a stronger easing uh, that uh, will open the way towards uh, 160.38 where is the 38.2% retracement of the larger up move from uh, 157.69 to than uh, one six, uh, 131, uh, uh, 67. basically 160 uh, uh, zone is seen as the key uh, point at this uh, uh, stage with the 160.33 and the 160.12 percent retracement break below 160 could be quite uh, risky for the pair otherwise uh, any reversal above our initial uh, an ideal reversal point around the uh, 161 uh, 40, 30, 160, above 161.00 could be uh, ideal uh, for a fresh extension higher with 163.00 seen as our next target. This is the peak of uh, 30th of April 2012. <clears throat> and the dollar yen, as we mentioned at the beginning, is in the near term uh, uh, corrective uh, mode after hitting fresh low at 77.12 as a part of the larger downtrend from 84.17 peak of uh, 2012, high of 2012, posted on 15th of uh, uh, March with the consolidative action seen uh, during the three months above uh, mainly 7800 that was the first uh, uh, strong support and the floor uh, apart ahead of uh, 7765 previous low posted on 1st of uh, June fresh break uh, below these levels uh, and the uh, 7730 zone that was another uh, support uh, extended the losses so far to 7712 with 77.00 seen, seen as our next uh, target but it was uh, the losses were interrupted by current uh, corrective action as uh, shown on the four hour chart uh, uh, we see that uh, the basically the pair uh, retra retraced over 50 percent of the uh, down leg from uh, 79.65 down to 77.12 with the still positive tone uh, 
uh, seeing a more potential for a fresh extension higher as the dips uh, were contained. A corrective action of uh, 78.46 uh, uh, this morning's uh, fresh uh, high, overnight uh, fresh high uh, at uh, 78.15. Important to hold above psychological 78.00 uh, zero zero level as uh, 78.15, uh, 55 days exponential moving average contained the, so far the corrective action. A more uh, focus uh, again is seen towards the upside, although the hourly studies are still uh, uh, pointing uh, lower. but. Uh, Overall picture, as long as uh, 78 uh, stays intact, uh, sees more uh, potential toward the upside. Of course, uh, we need to see the break above uh, our uh, strong barriers at uh, 78. Uh, uh, zero zero previous, uh, pardon, 78.80 previous range uh, top and 79.00 uh, psychological uh, resistance and our uh, previous highs in order to signal some uh, stronger recovery and probably to. Uh, put uh, more focus towards the upside. As uh, as long as 78.80, 79.00 stays intact, uh, there will be a risk of uh, lower top at f and further extension uh, lower as the overall picture on the daily chart still uh, holds the bearish tone despite some uh, uh, positive movements uh, towards the upside of the indicators. Uh, uh, bears uh, still remain uh, fully in play as uh, the recent uh, that cross was posted uh, on 79.25 where the 90 days moving average crossed below 200 days one keeping the downside in focus with the uh, risk of extension below 77 to focus uh, 76 low 29th of uh, January 2012 this is yearly low and the 77 pardon 75 uh, 56 uh, 30th of October 2011 historical low of uh, dollar yen And the dollar Swiss uh, near-term price action is in the corrective consolidative mode of uh, last Friday's uh, fresh low at 92.37 as a part of the uh, larger downtrend from uh, 90, pardon, from 99.70. I do apologize. Said 24th of uh, July 2012 peak as uh, break below. Uh, platform at 94.00 uh, uh, zero, zero, and the break below the also the. 200 days moving average and 61.8% uh, retracement of the larger up move from uh, 1941 to 1970 accelerated losses to the downside loss of uh, 93 zone where is the trend line uh, support and the psychological uh, around figure in 9300 has so far seen 9237 ahead of uh, 9200 psychological uh, support and the 9180 peak of uh, fourth of uh, uh, May 2012 seen as our next uh, downside target. Of course, uh, corrective action cannot be ruled stronger corrective action as uh, current movement uh, within uh, uh, 9237 around uh, 40 50 pips is still seen as uh, just consolidation. A more significant uh, bounce requires uh, a regain of uh, 9300 and then uh, 9350, which marks approximately 38 uh, point, uh, pardon, 61 point. Uh, 8% uh, retracement of the down leg uh, from uh, 94.16 to uh, 92.37. These are also the previous uh, lows. So basically, if we see the regain of uh, these levels, then uh, uh, some uh, uh, short-term relief uh, would be seen for the uh, pair, and they uh, will uh, likely look for some uh, stronger corrective action, a break above uh, 94 and the 94.16 previous highs to confirm the uh, near-term base and allow for a stronger uh, a corrective action in this case uh, this is exactly 50% uh, of the down leg from uh, 9578 down to 9237 and basically if we see the break above these levels where is also descending 55 days exponential moving average then we might be talking of, of a near term base and a, a possible further recovery otherwise uh, anything below would be uh, seen as a risk of a lower top and a fresh uh, extension lower with the 920091 80 seen as the short-term targets for uh, dollar Swiss, and our more signif most significant uh, uh, <clears throat> event of last Friday was a break above uh, $100 on the uh, the crude oil as it peaked at uh, 100.40 so far, with corrective action still underway. Initial uh, low at uh, 98.49 still stays intact. This is the low of uh, uh, la uh, late hours of uh, Friday. And uh, 98.45 is also 50% retracement, and there is uh, this uh, zone uh, 55 days exponential uh, moving average. In case of uh, break here, uh, we might see some uh, stronger uh, corrective action, 
of the larger uh, up move, uh, the latest up leg from uh, 94.09 that uh, broke above the uh, short term consolidation and of course co consolidation and of course the previous uh, uh, peak at uh, 98.27 uh, uh, signaling uh, an extension of the larger uh, uptrend from uh, 77. Uh, uh, 27 that peaked so far at 140 uh, regain of uh, these levels of course of course a failure to close above this on the week uh, I might see some uh, further uh, corrective action with the previous uh, high at uh, 98 uh, 27 now acting as a uh, good support uh, while uh, break below 96 55 200 days moving average could be quite uh, risky as this would uh, signal a uh, uh, further easing and a uh, further uh, consolidative action as uh, so far the break above 100 uh, uh, dollars as uh, so strong psychological uh, resistance is seen as a, a false break with the more consolidation required in order to uh, for fresh attempt uh, higher and uh, probably possible break above uh, this recall of comments uh, from OPEC that uh, the most suitable price uh, for them would be around 100 to 120 dollars per barrel uh, most likely uh, we are going to uh, witness uh, further uh, extension higher when uh, the price will be reached of course a lot depends on the other things as the current uh, situation in the Middle East and the Persian Gulf is uh, far away from uh, stable and the uh, uh, further uh, uh, unrests uh, there are quite uh, likely that uh, might uh, of course uh, affect uh, the oil price. As said on the downside 98.27, 96.55 are uh, uh, quite good supports and anything below these uh, levels uh, could be risky for the short term action while a uh, firm break above uh, 100 and the uh, uh, close above uh, these levels is uh, to look for uh, 167 as our initial target with the uh, 10180 102 and the uh, very significant uh, 10641 peak of uh, 1st of May okay it's uh, still a bit uh, uh, way out of our range but uh, this would be the next uh, downside uh, upside targets in case of a clear uh, and sustained break above uh, 100 dollars per barrel and the last one is uh, gold a consolidative action within uh, 1765 and 1777 is still underway. Uh, hourly studies are still pointing uh, lower with the loss of momentum, uh, threatening a possible break uh, below the uh, current uh, range uh, floor for uh, in favor of uh, some uh, stronger corrective action with uh, 1763.50, which is close to these uh, lows, marking the initial 23.6 uh, 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 Fibonacci support ahead of 1754.80 which is 38.22 percent retracement larger pictures uh, outlook on the four hour chart just make this very clear okay on the four hour chart uh, uh, quite extended the uh, conditions on the studies uh, that already started uh, to point lower and emerge out of overbought uh, territory uh, could be a signal uh, for some corrective action with the ideal reversal I would say somewhere above uh, 1730 where we have the uh, previous uh, consolidation uh, range floor and the higher base along with 38.2 percent retracement and the uh, 55 days exponential moving average that will keep the immediate focus at the upside uh, for test of our uh, a key barrier and the short-term target pardon at it shows only on the weekly uh, 1790 this is 1798 this is the peak of uh, 2000 and the uh, pardon 26 of uh, uh, February uh, February 2012 basically we have a quite uh, strong uh, resistance zone 1790 uh, 1795 80 and this 180250 uh, peaks uh, this is the the late the latest one is there from 2011 while 1790 uh, is the peak of uh, 2012, and strong resistance zones be zone between 1790 and 1800, a break of which will again uh, refocus uh, record high of uh, gold at uh, 1920, and uh, most likely signal the resumption of the uh, broader uptrend that lasts for past over uh, 10 years, as the corrective action uh, from uh, September that lasts uh, uh, exactly one year. Uh, so far bottom that uh, 15, uh, 20, 30 uh, critical support zone and the bounce from here now sees uh, more prospect uh, for further extension higher with the, our uh, main target at this point, uh, 1790 and 8000, a break of which is required to uh, turn the focus uh, completely higher. Uh, back on the short term as set, uh, 
uh, any any stronger uh, dips uh, should ideally uh, reverse uh, around the 1730 zone while break below uh, 1700 where is also the trend line support would be quite uh, risky for the short term action as this would be signal uh, for some uh, a stronger uh, correction of the yellow metal that uh, so far peaked at uh, 1777 just ahead of uh, yearly peak at 1790 dollars uh, per ounce uh, that was all from uh, my side uh, if you have any questions please uh, you can uh, submit them now also to mention that uh, uh, all technical analysis uh, uh, that we provide apart from the video ones you can find them in written in number of uh, uh, financial uh, sites uh, also you are if you are client of uh, Windsor then you will be receiving them on the daily basis uh, we cover the uh, major currencies uh, major commodities uh, crude oil silver and gold as well as uh, uh, four major crosses uh, for now this is euro yen sterling yen sterling Swiss and the euro sterling and they are done on a daily basis uh, so you can have it uh, in addition to our uh, morning uh, comments uh, uh, if you are client as said uh, you will receive them on the uh, on your trading platform otherwise you can find them in the big number of uh, financial uh, sites it seems that we don't have any questions today that uh, likely we covered all the important uh, points if so then uh, we'll conclude our uh, session we've been talking for approximately half an hour uh, I wish you to I wish you nice uh, day today beginning nice beginning of the week of course uh, a very good and successful uh, trading and uh, expect to see you back uh, tomorrow morning at the same time 700 GMT 10 o'clock uh, local uh, Cyprus time until then I wish you a nice day good luck